yeah it is so now let's go to the edge mode select this edge ring it so we'll get selection of these two no connect just once oops also this one place this edge more near to the shape let's go by 90 extrude 0 0 so you zeroing this by uh, clicking with the right uh, mouse button just fi make this like this big and three times inside so very small select this and this edge the new ones and place there a chunk for the smallest one so this will create here a gap like uh, the bolt is inside the helmet no uh, not on the helmet so it will be looking uh, a bit more real let's say or better if we if we are by the bolts let's go also here to the top one you can go f4 maybe you don't need that and still in local mode like before we'll push this back a bit and the same procedure so select this edge ring that connect just once you can go with the same value probably like 90 Extrude again zero zero one one four three. Okay, now select this and this. Uh, loop it, chamfer the smallest value. We are done. Now, again one bolt, one bolt I missed here. If I select this shape, as you can see here is one. So from the left view, it should be here at the end poly. So here. So. <coughs> Let's create it uh, the same way like we was doing that before. So we'll apply here and inside. Let's go like this. We go to poly mode or polygons, geo poly. Now it will be a bit uh, placed inside, so just drag it away. Like this. Maybe, maybe a bit more. Just a bit. Now again, extrude. Uh, now we can go with the value which we want so something like this it can be also smaller smaller or bigger it's up to you where is your model so do the whatever you like again the ring connect again we can try to use the same value like we did before so 90 even that here i don't know but we'll see now here it will be too much so let's go with 80 maybe no oh, this is way too much so back to 90 it have to be enough extrude again the same value we used before select the address loop it chamfer smallest one and it should be fine so three bolts here one two three uh, which are fine, making there a small detail on the shape. Now, because we are making the bolts from a, from a cube or rectangle, uh, it's not absolutely smoother around. We we, uh, we should go with a higher iteration, but uh, we don't need that. Uh, anyway, we will do a render from a distance. So from this point of view uh, I don't care about that but if you want uh, just increase this one more time and it will be perfectly round so this is just for information and let's go a bit further so let's go to this shape F4 and again we have here uh, an angle as you can see <coughs> actually I don't know uh, how I missed this but I did so uh, can do this welding here should be fine and also if you go to perspective mode first select this you can go to view mode better here you can see that it's a bit of the shape like it should be near to each other so, so just just move it just move it here Uh, like this it should be fine and also 
you can move a bit this shape. And if you want also this to the right. And now it should be fine. So we can track the turbo smooth. And yes, it's aligned with each other. So it should be fine. No problem. Okay. Let's go here. Now, uh, when I was looking at this, I noticed that this gap here is not the same everywhere. Like here, the gap disappeared. And I found that I did here as a bigger transfer that I should do. So, uh, height unselected. <clears throat> and we need to delete this transfer and create.